Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on impression video of the build 14393, the latest Windows 10 mobile redstone build that Microsoft has pushed to Windows Insiders in fastering. The build is supposed or considered to be the RTM or release to manufacturers build by many and uh, Microsoft has yet not confirmed it officially. But if it is the RTM build, then maybe we'll see either the 14393.0 or the variant. The cumulative update build variant of this uh, going out to everyone running Windows 10 Mobile officially on August 2 as anniversary update. So as you can see currently it is at the base variant or base build 10.01 over 2493.0. But either this or a variant or a cumulative update build can come like 0 0.12, 0 0.13 to so on. So like you see that uh, in the threshold 2 you have a like variance of 10586. So similarly. So it may happen or it may not happen. <coughs> it depends upon uh, confirmation from Microsoft. Many still think that it's not RTM build. It can be different. So what we will do now, <coughs> we will share our installation experience. We will share our impressions of the build. Because we have kind of run this build or played with this build for more than like uh, 24, like 27, 28 hours now. So we have a <coughs> fair idea of how this build we have on different devices. So it's a Lumia 550 and if you talk about installation experience on all the devices, it has been pretty smooth with it. With it. So it augurs well for uh, the anniversary update release. It took around 30 to 35 minutes for us for entire operations or installation, restart, then data migration to get it running <clears throat> so i mean on all the devices it has been quite good very smooth actually we'll uh, we have not uh, kind of checked but we think that it would be around 500 to 700 mb mb in size uh, the build uh, so it should be fine uh, for you to quickly download install and uh, get your device running <clears throat> now coming to how the build we have so it's a we have 550 but uh, we have seen that the build behaves quite smoothly it's very fast and responsive all the normal navigation uh, that that goes really well actually without saying <clears throat> so it has been uh, this thing with the redstone builds that if you compare them to threshold you would realize that they are usually faster and more responsive than the threshold builds even if you use the hack and uh, install the redstone build on an older device older lumia which is unsupported you will still feel the difference so what we wanted to uh, i mean drive home the fact that uh, whatever you do on the threshold it usually is very responsive actually you see that you can do lots of i mean work in settings it can be really really fast you don't see lags issues So general navigation wise it uh, <coughs> rocks we have not seen many issues if you talk about stability it has rock solid very stable so why why i mean if you talk about stability so last uh, at least uh, seven eight builds have been really very stable they have been really good working fine lot i mean very less crashes for us etc we have not done any hard reset on lumia 550 and it you can see that usually the behavior is good we will quickly check the multitasking part Let's open the edge. Okay. It opened the store, but anyways, <laughs> we just wanted to open the... So you can see that uh, even on a Lumia 550, the edge works fast in, I mean, kind of rendering the pages. And with time, with every build, uh, there have been improvements in Microsoft Edge and how it works.
So here we open a few pages and we will send it to the background. We can kind of open one or two games to just quickly check it. Let's send it to the background. Let's quickly check the multitasking part. So what you can realize the multitasking behavior is really very very good very improved the resume is very very fast actually even on a <coughs> device like lumia 550 you hardly uh, encounter many issues we can see how the store works here because store is one of the app that has given lots of issues in uh, in i mean on like many of the last builds so here at least store has opened fast so let's send you the background we can quickly check the multitasking while the store is open. So this is how the build behaves on a Lumia 550. We had not done a hard reset on this device, but it is good. We will quickly check it on a <coughs> Lumia 640 XL, <coughs> on which it should be uh, even slightly more uh, responsive and a bit faster. So here we go. <coughs> on this uh, Lumia 640 XL, we will open one of the UWP game because, as we said, UWP games are those optimized. For Windows 10, and it's obviously uh, wise to you know do a hands-on with them so that you can get the idea. So let's send it that to the background. We can quickly open store. As you can see, if it's a UWB game, it resumes really fast. And for, for your information, we have done hard reset on Lumia 640XL after we have installed uh, 14393. And it is quite good, very, very fast, very responsive for us. Talking about battery life, <coughs> if you talk about the battery life, uh, with every build, so let us say like last 3-4 builds, Microsoft has worked on improving the battery life on various devices and it reflects actually. So if you talk about the battery life on Lumia 640XL, for last 24-25 hours we could have been able to observe it and battery discharge rate is very very low. So it, it shows like 1 day 10 hours and uh, in fact if I don't think it will last like uh, 34 hours for me but it should last at least 27 28 hours on a full charge i'm talking about lumia 640xl if we talk about lumia 550 which i just had in my hand before this it should be around uh, 24 25 hours
so with a 45 percent uh, charge uh, it, it shows that it can last 11 hours 46 minutes so as we see it it will last easily 24 hours and Lumia 640XL so we had just say like 27 28 hours but it may last more than that maybe like 30 hours it can go but uh, if, if we use so it's like very heavy use so there it can be even less it can be less for this also but if you talk about battery discharge rate overall i did not see any bug even with i mean this is not uh, this I, I mean i have not done hard reset on this but i have done high reset on this but still i see that uh, it, it's i mean there are no uh, very uh, i mean bad bugs which can actually kill your battery or drink your battery like anything so it's good so basically uh, as we just told you so both uh, I mean both the devices they are running the uh, build quite well even when uh, one of them has not gone through the hard reset one has gone but they, they are I mean able to run the uh, build with equal aplomb so there is no issue we have not uh, encountered many bugs here but uh, my I mean small bugs like uh, if you talk about sometimes we have seen that the store when after doing a hard reset I mean the store took a while uh, in starting to you know get the apps downloading and installing so i don't know whether that is an issue with the store or was that was a small temporary kind of issue but that happened so once we have done hard reset we tried and we could not get the apps getting installed really fast it took some time but it still worked so <clears throat> apart from that uh, as we say we have not uh, encountered many other bugs or any other bugs but uh, we have like played with the build for like 25 26 hours the, there are some other bugs uh, we'll talk about bluetooth so we are not uh, actually satisfied with the bluetooth's uh, ui itself but there is a known bug so if you are using bluetooth connect to other device it may happen that it there may be some uh, you know crashes or there may be some freezes so microsoft has put that in known issue and uh, trying to resolve that so the store still remains to be you know a bit moody and we'll say that the bluetooth issues and bluetooth ui needs some improvement still needs some improvement and bluetooth performance also needs some improvement multitasking has really been well quite good it it is really impressive <clears throat> if you you know use this uh, mails if you go to outlook mail so i mean we have seen that usually it works well if it is configured but if you go and try to configure a new mail let's say if you go and try to configure the a google mail then there may be some kind of issues which come so sometimes we are hitting an error code so that is not every time but at some time some point of time we, we hit an error code which says that the account cannot be configured especially with google mail so <clears throat> we will uh, put that the error code in uh, while we'll uh, do a uh, article on this so with this we come to end of our uh, hands-on impressions of the build 14393 as we said it's a solid build it's responsive fast there are minor bugs which which are supposed to i mean which are there obviously you one cannot deny uh, we but uh, we did not face issues with the wi-fi uh, i mean that was like uh, put in the uh, that was mentioned in the known issues but for us the wi-fi is working quite well we are not uh, facing that kind of issue when the mobile data was working fine with us i checked on the both the devices so with that i mean we come to end of this we will say the battery life is good the build is solid but there are minor bugs which needs to be fixed so if you talk about being the rtm build we don't think still the rtm build there are things which can be ironed out maybe like in um, more uh, cumulative update builds microsoft would be able to fix that so with that, we come to the end of this video. Hope you have liked it. Stay tuned for more. Keep watching. Thanks.